ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the fabulous Port Royal Speedway, also known as the Speed Palace. And we are here with the Ward of Outlaw Stop Motion Sprint Car Series for the 56th running of the Tuscarora 50. It's the, one of the biggest races of the year, other than the Kings Royal and the Eldora Million. And we have a lot of drivers here ready to compete to go 50 laps for $56,000. And we are here to light the fire for the 56th year in a row for the Tuscarora 50. And we have a beautiful night of racing for you and a very good car count. So we expect to see good, great racing here. And, and a lot of moves everywhere on every inch of this racetrack. The track is quite slick tonight, as we saw in qualifying earlier tonight. And a lot of drivers will be riding high just to get traction and to get a good run out of the corners to make some great passes. Tonight we have a whopping 53 cars competing for $56,000 here tonight at the Tuscarora 50. Anyways, the fastest qualifier in Group 1 was Justin Peck at a time of 8.2 seconds. Not the fastest time so far, but it was a great time and good enough for quick time. Carson Macedo got the overall quick time with 7.3, almost a full second faster than Justin Peck, as he has got a rocket ship tonight. It'll be amazing to see how he does. The top five qualifiers were Carson Macedo at 7.3, Justin Peck at 8.2, David Gravel at 8.5, Danny Dietrich at 8.8, .8, and Logan Wagner at 9.3. Onto the dash redraw, Carson Macedo, the first one to draw with tonight's quick time at 7.3, and he's going to take the number two. Carson Macedo will start second in the dash. The next one to draw will be Justin Peck. And that was a quick draw. He's going to take the number five. Justin Peck will start fifth in the dash. Up next is David Gravel, the third fastest qualifier tonight. He will take the number six. David Gravel will start next to Justin Peck in the dash. Up next is Danny Dietrich. And he is going to draw the number one. He's on the pole. Danny Dietrich on the pole for the dash. Up next is Brad Sweet. And he's going to take the number three. Brad Sweet will start on the inside of the second row in the dash. Next is Lance DeWeese. Ooh, he's going to take the number nine. Lance DeWeese starts ninth in the dash. And next is Rico Abreu. He's going to take the number four. Rico Abreu will start fourth in the Toyota dash. Up next is Brent Marks, and he is going to take the number eight. Brent Marks starts eighth. Anthony Macri. Ooh, getting the worst one in there, the number 10. Anthony Macri will round out the field in the dash. And finally, it's Logan Wagner. He's going to take the number seven. Logan Wagner will start seven in the dash. So before we get on to the dash tonight, we're going to give you a quick recap of what has happened so far tonight, including the heats, the C, and B main. Sorry I couldn't do announcing for this part. It was just way too fast for me to keep up with. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy. That's basically a recap of everything that has happened so far tonight, and it is time for the dash. Here is your starting lineup. 
Starting on the pole, you got Danny Dietrich. On the outside, it's Carson Macedo. Starting third is Brad Sweet. In fourth, Rico Abreu. In fifth is Justin Peck. In sixth is David Gravel. Starting seventh is Logan Wagner. Starting eighth is Brent Marks. And final row on the inside is Lance DeWeese. And rounding out the field is Anthony Macri. Here we go. The dash is underway. Danny Dietrich does a good job, and he's going to lead the way. But David Gravel is not giving up without a fight. Dietrich's going to pull away. Brad Sweet and Gravel are going at it for a second, though. Gravel holds on for now, but Brad Sweet is right there. He's going to try to make a move down low. It's not going to work. Gravel holds on to second. Meanwhile, Danny Dietrich is gone. Macedo and Sweet make contact. Dietrich leads, and he is going to dominate the dash and start on the pole in the 50-lap main event. Wow. That was an impressive run by Danny Dietrich, and... He has got a rocket tonight. It'll be amazing to see how he does in the feature. All preliminary action is finished. And ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. It is time for the feature event. And here is your starting lineup. Starting 29th in that water park, Steve ASU curb records number 49B is the Daredevil, Devin Orton. Starting 28th in the Wikers Livestock Sweeney Cars, number 48D, it's Wild Bill Billy Dietrich. Starting 27th in the Owls Roofing Supply, Kading Performance, number 69, it's Bud Kading. Starting 26th in the Driving Racing Performance, NGK Spark Cars, number 1T, it's Tanner Holmes. Starting 25th in the Heavy Equipment Loaders of Park CND, rigging number 3Z, it's the Jonestown Jet Brock Sirfoss. Starting 24th in the Driving Racing Performance, Duramax Liquid Armor, number 1S, it's Logan Shuhart. Starting 23rd in the Casey Kane Racing Caravan Trailers, number 9, it's James McFadden. Starting 22nd in the Signing Day Sports, CJB Motorsports, number 5S, it's Shane Stewart. Starting 21st in the CJB Motorsports, Drew Jimmer Camera, number 5, it's Spencer Mason. Starting 20th in the Swindell Speed Lab, Circle B Diecast, number 39T, it's Tanner Thorson. Starting 19th in the High Plains Virgin Vision Indy Race Parts, Wilson Record Service number 11, it's Buddy. Oh boy. Starting 18th in the Tony Stewart Racing Advanced Auto Parts number 15, it's Don. Starting 17th in the Swindell Speed Lab, Circle B Diecast number 39B, it's Christopher Bell. Starting 16th in the Alex Bowman Racing Valvoline number 55, it's Steve Starting 15th in the Talking of Sun, Silver Motor Sports number 7, it's Yo, Buddy. Starting 13th in the Casey's General Store at SVP, number 21, it's Black Jack Bryant Brown. Starting 12th in the Swindell Speed Lab, Bubbly Branch, number 39, it's Justin Sanders. Starting 11th in the Logan Cloud Direct Supply, Aspen Air, number 18, Hot Sauce, Giovanni Selby. Starting 10th in the Swindell Speed Lab, Bear Archery, John Custer Trucking, number 39, Air Mr. Country, Kid Anthony. Starting 9th in favor of the Bryce Overtrack Park, Tesla on the Flyer, Rapid Tire, number 69K, Joey. Starting 8, we hail from Monrovia, Indiana, the first race park, 3 center, all-star performance, HPS, number 13, is Justin X. Starting 7th from Myers Town, Pennsylvania. Number 19, the Myers Town. This all Brent. Starting 6th from St. Helena, California, in the Rowdy Energy Shopping Goodcom, which is Royal Curve Records. Number 24, it's Rico Starting 5th from Harrison Bill, Pennsylvania, in the Zemco Headers, Santa Brothers, TNC Distributors. Number 1, it's the Pilot, Logan Webb. Starting fourth from the Boy, California, Alabama, North Carolina, Charleston, 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 Charleston,
from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the Wagon Flat Dock, Sweeney Cars, Base Performance, number 48, it's so Danny Dietrich. That is your starting line of this evening, and it is time to start the main event, but before we do so, we're going to get to the floor. Alright, so it. Speedway, you wanted the best, you got them for us. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt, the world of outlaws. Lost energy drink, stock motion, sprint cars at the 56th annual Tuscarora 50. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to light the fire and kick the tires. It is showtime at the 56th annual Tusker R50. Dietrich's gonna lead the way down the front stretch. Here comes Rico Abreu into second. Dietrich continues to lead and will lead left number one. Brad Sweet into second now. Several cars battling with that second spot, and we got trouble. Leo Sells with Spencer Basin and a few others involved. Let's take a look at the replay here. And I'm not really sure what happened. It looks like. Sanders made contact with Baston, and the others just had no place to go, and everyone else was able to avoid contact, so we will get back to green flag racing. Here we go, one lap complete, we are back to green. Dietrich gets the jump, here comes Logan Wagner with a huge run. Gravel's still going to stick in second, he's going to battle Rico Abreu, and now Abreu in second. Here comes Logan Wagner into the second spot, looking for a run at the leader. Dietrich and Wagner going back and forth for the lead. Now, as Wagner continues to try down low, still not going to work out. And a nasty flip on the back stretch. Brian Brown takes a nasty flip, and the safety team has informed us that he is all right. Man, that was nasty. And Logan Schuhart also caught a piece of the 21 race car, so he will also be out of the race. And we are going to get back to green here shortly. Luckily, everyone else was able to avoid contact with Brown, and we are going to get back to green here in just a moment. The green is back out. Dietrich and Wagner leading to the stripe. And here goes Rico Abreu full of slide jump. Not going to work out there. Dietrich turns it back underneath, and he's going to pull away. Rico makes another slide jump, but Dietrich takes it back once again. He's, is he going to try it again? No, he will not. And oh, Tanner Thorson loses a tire there. And that's going to bring out the caution. There is the tire there. Getting ready to pick it up now as Thorson has been pushed to the work area. He will continue. They just got to do a little bit of work. Here we go. Green flag is out. Dietrich continues to lead, but Aver has got a good run on the top side. Dietrich runs down low and, and will still lead the left. Here goes Rico Aver with a huge run. He's going to take the lead away with a slingshot move. Rico Aver is your new leader. Avery has definitely pulled away from the 48 as he has got a strong lead right now. Man, he is running strong. Rico Avery has got a quick car here tonight as he continues to lead around the Port Royal Speedway. And he's about two seconds ahead now. What a lead. And now Brad Sweet's going to get by Dietrich. Dietrich's going to take it back. Rico continues to lead the way as he is flying away from the number 48 race car. Now about three seconds ahead. And Bell spins. Looks like he made contact. Not sure who it was, but we're going to go back to green. Dietrich gets the better jump this time as Brad Sweet is going to jump in the second. He's got a run. It will not work out. Dietrich is going to pull away. Rico Abreu falls to third. Brad Sweet still holds on to second. Dietrich is starting to pull away even more. Brad Sweet will still hold on to second now as Dietrich is gone. He is about three seconds out front. Here comes Lance DeWeese out of nowhere. Lance DeWeese comes into the equation and will be fighting Danny Dietrich for the lead. They are going back and forth with slide jobs and crossover moves several different moves being made here in the last five laps of the first half. Deweese continues to lead. Danny is trying and he's going to get it back. Lance Deweese is going to be your leader at the halfway mark. Well, that was something else. Lance Deweese takes the lead and
continues to battle Dietrich for the last five laps of the first half of the Tuscarora 50. Dewey's holds on. Danny Dietrich comes home in second there. And looks like Brad Sweet was third. So we are now at the halfway break. And we've got quite a change of positions here. As Lance DeWeese, you saw in the end, took over the lead as Dietrich led most of the first half of the Tuscarora 50, but DeWeese just came out of nowhere like a bullet, and he stole the lead there. He's definitely got a quick car tonight, and he is going to really be a threat here later on. Well, Dietrich had a great run, too. He led almost the, the entire first half, but... Lance DeWee stole it there in the end. He's definitely got a bullet, and it is going to be hard to stop the number 48 machine. Brad Sweet currently runs third. He's doing all right. Not too much of him being seen as we are watching the leaders the most. Marks came in there, and he was battling Brad Sweet behind the two leaders while they were going at it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see what the 19 can do later on. David Gravel, who started second, has fallen back a little bit, but he is still running out front, pretty close to it at least. And what happened to Wagner? He just dropped like a pin after that one restart, and we have not seen much of him since. All right, everyone has done work to their cars, and we are going to go back to bring in the second half of the truck. And oh, we got trouble. Devin Borden goes upside down. Looking at the replay, it looks like him and Kyle Larson got together, and that's what sent the 49B upside down. He will be taken out of competition here. And we're going to go back to green. Lance DeWeese with a quick restart, and he's going to pull away from Dietrich for now. He's running down the middle. Here it comes Dietrich, and Marks now into third. Dietrich and DeWeese are still going at it, even after that restart. And Mosquito goes upside down. The fastest qualifier gets taken out of the race as him and Thorson get together. Macedo flips over the inside wall, and Thorson actually will be able to continue. Macedo has been taken out of the equation. Back screen flag action. Dietrich actually gets a huge jump, and here comes Rico Abreu. Dietrich and Abreu now going at it once again. Here comes Abreu on the bottom. He's going to take the lead for now. And Abreu is taking the lead. Here comes Liz DeWeese. He's going to take the lead back in and cut him off up high. Dietrich, Abreu, and DeWeese all going back and forth for the lead. Here, here comes Dietrich once again. Dietrich's going to pull a slide job, and he's going to take the lead. DeWeese pulls a slingshot. Dietrich takes it back. They are still going back and forth out here at the Port Royal Speedway. Here goes Brent Marsh into the equation. Where did he come from? We are three wide, and Liz DeWeese spins, but keeps it rolling. Marks now into the lead. Still battling with Dietrich, and oh, we got trouble. CJ Leary and Donnie Shots get together. It looks like Leary got a little too high, and Shots got a little too low there, and they got together and spun. They will be able to continue, and we will be back to green. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to green. Danny Dietrich will get the jump there, and Brad Sweet's going to hop into second there. He's going to battle for the lead, and we got trouble. Justin Peck goes around. I'm still trying to figure out what happened. It looks like Marks got sideways, put Peck into the wall, and then... Peck went back down and collected Wagner, and we are going to go back to green here. Let's see if they can continue. Single file as Brad Sweet still has a run. Dietrich continues to lead the way, however. Brad Sweet all over him. He's going to take the lead. A little slide jump. He's get Sweet leads the lap, but Dietrich takes it back. Here comes David Gravel into the mix. We have a three-car battle for the lead. Danny Dietrich and David Gravel now going at it. Brad Sweet is starting to fall behind. Gravel into the lead. Now Dietrich. Dietrich versus Gravel. Now Gravel is back in the lead. Double D is still trying to get back by him. He cannot. Dietrich has gotten by him. Here comes Lance to into the equation. And we, we, we got a car spinning. Looks like Christopher Bell got over CJ Leary's left rear tire and spun out. That was no one's fault but his own. The feud continues as we are back to Green Danny Dietrich. We'll lead them off. They are side by side. Dietrich into the lead. Now to Weiss. It's a straight up war zone out here. Danny Dietrich takes it back and is going to continue leading as we get to two to go. The white flag is out. He's had a rocket all night. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Dietrich is your Tuscarora 50 champion.
Gary Kaufman Racing is really going to be celebrating tonight as Danny Dietrich had a dominating performance and took the win after a great massive war for the lead. He held on and took the win. Brad Sweet had managed to bring it home in second after not really being mentioned much in tonight's feature except for when he was battling with Dietrich and Gravel there at the end. He's had a great run tonight as well. He really deserves a, a top two here tonight. And third, and your hard charger, Spencer Basting. Wow. He came from 21st. Yeah, that's right. 21st to third. So your KSE hard charger is definitely Spencer Basting. That's basically it for tonight, but before we go, we want to give you a tad bit of a recap of our non-qualifier feature. Yes, I did not forget about that, so here's a little recap of it. So first off, Logan Rumsey took the early lead from Mitchell Facinto as he fell way back, and Aaron Reitzel absolutely had a rocket and took the lead early. Cole Macedo and Rumsey get together, and Rumsey spins out, bringing out the only caution. And Cole Macedo ends up stealing the win from Aaron Reitzel out of turn number four. It was a great race, and Cole Macedo will be advancing to next year's Tuscarora 50. That is going to wrap it up for the 56 Stop Motion Tuscarora 50. Well, actually, the first Stop Motion Tuscarora 50, but whatever. So that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It would really help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.